All right, a new book sending shockwaves uh, through Washington with some defending the content uh, and others uh, not so much. Uh, joining us now on set in our uh, new studio, I think you have not been here, Michael, and they, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, author I of. Once. I mean, you, I think you were up in. What's that? He was once. Oh, you were here? Yeah. Oh, I was out. I, I, don't, thought... rem I don't remember where I've been <laughs> now. <laughs> it's been a while, to say yeah, the least. Uh, <laughs> author of uh, Fire and Fury uh, Inside the Trump White House. Okay, shockwaves, absolutely. Friday, shockwaves. Now, I think we're kind of in the you know aftershocks, which come after the initial shockwave. So let's let's advance the the, the story a little bit. I um, I want to show you this, uh, David Brooks today, who is a, a huge never Trumper, obviously, uh, even though he's I don't know the conservative writer, presumably for the New York Times. Here's the uh, this is what it looks like today. He calls it the death of anti-Trumpism, and he, the the person is carrying. Uh, a copy of Fire and Fury, and this is what he said. The, we anti-Trumpers have our lowbrowism too, mostly on late night TV, but the lowbrowism anti-Trump burst into full bloom with your book, with Wolf's book. He doesn't pretend to adhere to normal, normal journalistic standards. He happily admits he's just tossing out rumors that are too good to check, uh, and it's more about engagement uh, than actual facts. That, that what's the matter? Is that is that a fair criticism? Given it, your disclaimer? In no, the front it's of the it's, a, it's preposterous criticism, and it's the 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 New York Times. You know, listen. I think well, they the, be I on think your side. I think the New York Times has 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 done a great job. What they think or what they feel is I've stolen their story now. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I mean, I came along. I'm 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 a complete outsider. That's why I got into the White House. I'm not a, mo a member of that. Of, of that club, um, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not, I'm not in the press briefing room. I'm not David Brooks, who's you know on all the morning shows. Actually, I just did. I just saw him on Sunday and in, in the Meet the Press um, green room. This is this is a club. I'm not a part of it. I went in. I got into the White House, which none none of them did. Um, none of them have done. Um, and I wrote this book, which has. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Become, become quite a phenomenon. It speaks to, I guess, somebody finally said what what the New York Times has not been able to say. The guy has no clothes no, on. But Michael, you, you, the way that, that you've approached it, I've heard you say that that uh, it, it, if it rings true, maybe it is true. And, and they actually have. They've made up a name called a a, a truthism or truthiness rather than than than. And, and I'm have you seen, uh, me, have you seen me, those? Yeah. Those well, quotes? let me let me let me um, uh, push back on here. Okay. I have. There is a genre, whether I, you can disagree with it or not, but a genre of book, and it's a it's Bob Woodward is I guess the the um, the prime exponent of this. And Game the change, deal, the other one. and and the deal is, you go in and you say, "I, I want to know what's going on here." And in order to do that, you promise you, uh, anonymity. I mean, every source is protected. Nobody knows from the reader's perspective. And you know, I can say that this is this is an issue. You don't know, actually, right. because you don't know my sources. You don't really. In the end, no. But if what's it, true here? But so it, if it rings true, it, and that, and I, and I said that, and uh, you know, in this moment of 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 everyone, every word I said is now scrutinized right. about this. But the truth is, you have to go in. This is a this is a book. You can choose but, to but, reject but if, it if you, entirely. If, if, if you put, but a, if this if you put is a disclaimer in right at the very beginning that not all of this is necessarily true, and it's what I believe to be true, and then people start to exactly find exactly what. By the way, exactly what Bob Woodward said. But then says. how do you know what to believe at this point? And so people, it's a Rorschach. Some, people that like Trump people, won't believe it. People that that, 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 that well, hate him will believe that, everything. That, but that, we, 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 that may well be true. We're this, just right back where this, we started. This is. This is the the nature of this kind of kind of book. If you want this view in the White House, which a lot of people clearly do, right. and it touches, and a lot of people said, "Oh my God, yes, this is what I have, this is what I have feel, felt, this is what I have suspected." This suddenly makes sense to me. Right. Then, but, then that's. But the what more a, things that you is. read, the, some of the, the juiciest things, and then you read. 
uh, Cindy Adams, it, uh, I don't know if she's a, a Trumper or not, but she said not, not one of us that were with the first family out on the night of the election recall Melania crying. I phoned everyone else that was there to confirm no one, it simply didn't happen, she was not crying the night. And, and it simply is not true. And what we have now is... What do you mean? What, Cindy is, said yes. Not so it, she was... It, she yes, was uh, absolutely. Um, and what we have now is we have Donald Trump flipping out, you know, literally bouncing off, off the walls, saying his version of reality is true, because that's what the Trumpian thing is. That's, um, and he is insisting that everyone, everyone confirm to that. What, what, I mean, you have to do me, that. Look, we've had a lot of people who have said they didn't say these things, these weren't their emails. What has shocked me is that Steve Bannon took so long to come back and basically not say that wasn't what he said to say right. he's taking it's out of context. Com, com, this is, I am, with, with, I have, I am confident in everything that is in this book. Did Steve Bannon, has he contacted you since the book or since the excerpts of the book started coming out? I, let, me, let me not say that. Um, I, I, yeah, I, but, yeah, but, but um, yes. um, you know, this is, and it's, it's no question, Steve didn't say, didn't challenge anything. This is, is I mean, this book is, is this book is really solid. Um, but also you have to just go back and say, if you want to write this kind of book, and, and, and maybe you don't want to write this kind of book, maybe right. we don't want this kind of book to exist, but if you want this view into this, an institution like this, right. this is what you're going to have. But it, it reminds me of it if over the last year, this is the narrative that the, the true people, the, the people that thought that Trump was an illegitimate president, they, whether it, I mean, if Rosie O'Donnell was going to write a book, this would be her book. If Tom Steyer was going to write a book, this would be. But think of the book that, that Sean Hannity would write. So what's real? And, and how do we decide what, what's real at this well, point? It's, I, it's, it's I mean, so polarized that it just seems like more of the same. It seems I, like it. I can't, I, I, I can't solve this problem. I, I right. don't have a magic wand to say this is, is true. Right. That's why I said if it rings true, and that, that's a profound thing. Does this comport with what you know, what you feel, what you suspect? But is it based on things from people who are in the room? So this is not secondhand information. This is because I read through some of the experts, some of the places. It's like, wow, there's got to be three people who knew it's that what happened. It's a first-hand account. It's a first-hand account. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all first-hand. And, and it's used to those journals. Absolutely. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of this stuff, stuff I witnessed. Now I chose to write this. I mean, there's a scene in the beginning of the book which everybody says, "How could he have known this?" With Roger Ailes and right. and. and, and Steve Bannon. Yeah. So every, everyone, how could he have known this? There's long patches of dialogue here. This must must be. And so I sort of said, okay, well, you know, how did I know this? I was there. Um, um, so you you know, again, this is you got to you got to take it. It's right. a it's a book. Check out, uh, it's a book. It's not right. a, it's not the it's not a holy grail. It's not anything. It is literally a book. You you read this. Does right. it? And and my goal was to say, I'm sitting on this couch there. I wanted the reader but to be still, there. But it still just read me to the narrative that, that, that we've just seen played out innocently over the last year on cable or with, with all the Trump haters. And that's how it's easily dismissed by people that don't I, feel know, that I, way. I can't. This is, so we're, we're, at a, we're at an extra level here. Because this has become more than a book, this is now a phenomenon. So right. people have to, you know, it is. It, um, but it, it, he's it, not going to, this is not going to be the end of the Trump presidency, your book. You, you made that, you, you said that. Do you, do you, or I'm not going to say it's not going to no, be. No, and I do didn't you still say, think it is. Gonna, and I didn't say my book was, I said, here is this, this, the steps. Maybe this will be the end. There, there's a step that when people so, start to say, oh my God. Um, and is this true? Now, I, you know, in my, the f the f the fundamental the thing at the heart of this this book is that everybody around the president thinks he's dysfunctional, um, and I would say I would I would go you can um, right. ho hold the gun to my head on on that um, literally everybody. Did you see Dershowitz? Did you, and he's not a you know obviously his liberal friends aren't talking to him anymore. I I, I think we have a, a quote that he made and his point is that. Here it is. Let's just let's read it. How dare liberals or people on the left try to undo democracy by accusing a president of being mentally ill without any basis? The 25th Amendment does. Everybody knew Donald Trump. They knew he, he hasn't changed. And I can tell you, I've known him 20 years. He hasn't changed from what people knew that that elected him. So to to use this this mental instability, that's what they do in in Russia. That's what well, they I, do. I, I, who, I, I certainly didn't say and have not said. That he's that he's I don't know if he's mentally unstable. 
I do know in everyone around him reports that, you know, this, this repetitive stuff is so disconcerting. Um, and you sort of say, what does, the, what does this, this mean? And when I started to say the 25th Amendment, I, I, mean, I mean, that's what they said. It's, right. and, and actually, when I sort of heard it, it's like, well, this is bad, but, you know, it's not the let, let 25th, 25th Amendment, Amendment bad. So I, I, don't, I don't know any of the other stuff. Let me just tell you, this is a personal anecdote, and I don't have many. So I've known Trump for a long time, all right? So it was, uh, he, he announced in June, it was August, and I was speaking to him on the phone, but as a, not as the guy who was going to be the nominee, but as the Trump that I knew. And I asked him, I go, what, what are you doing uh, here? Are, is this something, are, are, what if you, are you the dog that finally catches the bus and says, what, or, or why are you doing this? Is it, for, is, it, is it for your brand? And maybe he was lying to me. He said, Joe, I, I want to do this for the country. I'm, I'm an operator. I think I can make America great again. I think I can bring it back. I don't like it where it is right now. And I really, really want to do this. Now, do you think he was blowing smoke up, up my nose or, or something? Or, or, so how does that jive with him not really wanting to be? And if he, he didn't want, if he didn't want to be president, why is he colluding with Russia? Why would, can we send Bob Mueller home now since he didn't want to be president? So why would he conclude? Or why, why, why would he uh, collude? I, I didn't, you know, and I don't know if he, if he colluded with but Russia. But if he didn't want to win, fact, why would he collude with as Russia? As a matter of fact, you, you know, I report, what I report from inside is people don't think in the White House, don't think that he, that he colluded with, with Russia, right. at least. But not, do they the, think he didn't want to be president? In a strategic sense. But they do think that, the, that the, if the investigation goes near his finances, right. he's sunk. Everybody, again, to a man. Michael, let's talk a little bit about what our viewers care about, too, the business leaders inside, like Gary Cohn in particular, um, because that's somebody who a lot of business leaders call to, and they feel like they are talking to a person that they understand and they trust when they're getting there. Uh, you had an email uh, that came out purportedly from Cohn that was pretty damning in the assessment of what sees there. Political no, no, it was not reportedly from Cohn. It I'm, was I'm just reportedly saying political pushback. Yes, it was. It was. It was. It was from somebody who was reporting what they understood to be. Okay, what they understood yes. to be his beliefs in yes. this entire situation. Yes. What, what does this tell us for people who are uh, business leaders who have been talking to Cone? Where does that kind of leave them? Um, you know, I, th I think it's it's the um, it's that it's that weird thing. He's 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 a he's a, you know erratic, undependable. We don't know what he's he's going he's going to do. Um, in a sense that that's good for the for I mean has been relatively good for the for the business community because because there are there are f forces you know he's not that interested in this stuff so so he can he can move move this the tax legislation you know is really doesn't come from Donald Trump it comes from um, I mean it really comes from Mitch McConnell um, and so that's that's been pretty good and what they're saying also is you know if we get Bannon out yeah they love that yeah. because it's the 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 you know America firstism no open trade totally and you know and and uh, you know there is a lot of I mean that's one of the funny thing of things about this this populist thing for him to go in as a populist but but to be maintain an allegiance to uh, to the business to community, to leaders in the business community, yep. to billionaires who's the billionaire chorus. I think yeah, on, on, only people he's really yep. interested. You know, you know, anyway. polls, polls, public opinion. I remember the polls before the election, so I never know what's really true. And and people say, well, the stock market responds to different things, but. Just given what's happened in the stock market since the election, I think the Dow's up over 35 percent, seven trillion uh, in value. The day that Brian Ross errantly reported uh, when the contact with Russia took place, the market sold off 400 points from the highs on the prospect that Trump, that his presidency might be in trouble. Are you surprised? No, I mean, are, but are you surprised that uh, business confidence, uh, uh, African American unemployment all time low? Uh, there, there's so many. Positives happening with if this guy was so erratic and if you were mentally so worried unstable. about and mentally unstable, do you really think it doesn't the stock market know I, more listen, than listen? No, I, I don't know. You you would say you you would say that and I mean we have this. I mean this I listen to the stock market more than Rosie O'Donnell or, or, or Chelsea Handler. 
between those numbers and his approval numbers. But I don't know about so, those either. He got elected when his approval numbers were the same level, and, and he got, you know, 310 uh, Well, that's what we'll votes. see. I, I don't know the answer to this. I mean, this is this ongoing drama, and this is one of the reasons why we're, we can't take our eyes off of it. It is so anomalous right. in almost every way. I mean, maybe it turns out, you know, you want a, you want a president who's... Uh, um, Disruptive. Uh, and, and who is detached from reality. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that works. And, and, um, and in the end of the day, we say, oh, yeah, this is, this is the kind will of, we kind see, of guy Will we hear we any of the tapes? Will you ever do that? Or, or I, I know you told, uh, was it Katie Tour or someone, that, that the tapes are yours? And you, yeah, you, you mean, don't I do don't, what we do. What, what I, we mean, do. I mean, I don't know. I, I have to... I have to th you know, everybody's um, sort of hammering me on this, and I'm and I'm thinking. I don't I want mean, to the, hammer you. The, you. Feel free. Have, <laughs> but, lawyers, have your lawyers but, asked for the tapes to review? Well, they've. The, um, they have, yes, they I mean, this book has been lawyered ev every every which way. But the um, um, so, but I've always take I would take the journalistic point of view. You, you know, you're not Protecting supposed to do this. You know, and and a lot of the tapes are of people who I said I absolutely promise. I mean, people who are now denying they spoke to me. Um, I, I do have them on tape, but I, I made a deal with them there. On the other hand, you know, I, I got, I, I, I guess we could, we could, we could create a, a, a whole thing, the Bannon tapes. May, maybe, maybe I should. I don't know. Did you really, I've, I've read that you went in there without any agenda whatsoever, and, and that maybe some people at the White House, maybe they were gullible or not, but thought that you were in there to write the opposite story, that, that, uh, <clears throat> that at that point the impressions of, of the president were were somewhat negative, and you were going to correct that that on the record. Did they think you might come in? Did you did you intimate they, to them that you would correct the record and that well, you liked Trump? Did you tell I, them? I did. I mean, I I did like Trump, and I and went you told in them there, that. and I went in there. Yeah, I mean, I, I told Trump. That's how I was mean, that was that a ploy to I get mean, the I interview? Didn't say, or that was, I didn't say I was going to write the following kind of book. I said actually, just let me write a book about the first hundred days. Just let me, let me, right. from the inside, and I said this, I said specifically, I don't want to write an outside perspective on this book. I want an inside. I want to know what the people here are, are, are thinking. I want to do it through your eyes. And that is what I have done. You said you liked Trump when you went in. Do you like Trump now? You know, I, I'm sure if we spent, if we were together for two minutes, we would be, he would be flattering me and I would be helplessly flattering him again. Really? He's a, you really think that's the response I, that Trump would have to you right now? Amidst all of the storm, amidst his lawyer sending your lawyer, the, the publisher's lawyers, letters to cease and yeah, desist. Yeah, you know, you know uh, Donald, uh, Donald Trump is a salesman. If he thought that he could sell me something else, um, he would he would do it. And and the thing is, the Trump thing is this. Uh, you know, is this he want? This is a man who wants to be loved, right? And f if so, he all publicity is good publicity. And well, I think for, for him. Uh, well, I think he's. Uh, I, I think he's annoyed at this publicity. <laughs> but when you get in a room with Donald Trump, he turns on this thing. It's actually sort of um, charming, sort of great. Do you think that the second 100 days or the third 100 days would be the same as the first? In all fairness, could this White House currently be very different from the White House? You witnessed. In the I, first you know, I, I'm a list that would be, I, I think, great if that were true. I think, I think Donald Trump is Donald Trump, um, and and again, maybe this turns out to be. I argued in the beginning this could be a success. I don't see that as a possibility now, but but maybe uh, maybe I'm I'm wrong. But Donald have to Trump turn is still going to be Donald Trump. Uh, let me. Uh, so you're you're going to do very well um, with this book. Obviously, Apparently. but it, it, I don't. Now, yesterday the journal had a book review, and I don't know. I, I get Rupert. You, you, you've had some history with Rupert. Uh, a little, little history. Uh, yeah, as well. This is how they ended. I don't know if you, if you read it or not. If Mr. Wolf had considered it his job to tell us what happened, and not merely to offer up his own clever interpretation of what happened, he might not have felt emboldened to repeat every unseemly tidbit that he would uh, that he could extract from murmuring White House said, but then he wouldn't have gotten rich. So they bring up the, the money card that, that and you will do well. Did you, did know, you know that? I mean, is that part of this? I mean, it is whenever whenever anybody writes a book, it is right. You want to sell books. You want to do well. You, you want to right? Well, yeah. And the, and and the, the, the spicier, the better. But also what you want to do is connect with readers. Yes. You want to represent what the readers want. It's too want. good to put down. I Everyone don't want says to represent yeah, what, the New York, what the New York Times wants. 
I want people to, I want to bring them right in. But you don't want to be the National Enquirer, unless it was the John Edwards story. You don't want to. Have you ever read a paragraph that I've written? No, no, but you don't want to make it totally, no, I know, but you don't want to make it so gossipy and sensationalistic that people doubt the underlying facts. Here's the, here's the, 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 actually the peculiar thing is that my entire career I've been accused of being too highbrow. The sentences are too complicated. The, um, um, and, and actually, this book remains relatively highbrow. Um, and uh, so if you want to call me tabloid, actually, um, I, that's, that's probably good for me. Michael, what do you do next? I, uh, I'm, I'm sure in another Band. show, another show in about in about another, another in about, project after about, this, or about is it too two, hard to two minutes. This? Yeah, I have I have no. I mean, this has been been a, for for me a, a kind of you know picked up as of last Wednesday, um, and um, I don't I don't know if it's is this life change. It's probably not life changing. I have to go back and right, you know, write it, write Trump, another paragraph. Trump would say he can imbue huge Q ratings on any, on the Mooch. Remember Scaramucci? Suddenly he you know he goes on the View. It's the they get record ratings. You're probably as as recognizable as anyone uh, right now. I, I would guess from this. So that that's one of the side effects. I, it's of the, it's it's so it's extraordinary. This it Trump is. thing. Are is, you getting stopped on the street now? I in, indeed. I mean, and people follow me with cameras, and, really? they, and they they say, "Oh, you're the guy <laughs> that book." Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate uh, having you on, and and um, you know, we wanted to hear some things, and uh, appreciate you answering all the questions. And, it it and, sounded low, though, like you're making out the mainstream media to have received your book in an adversarial fashion like they're jealous because you actually they've been on the merry-go-round reaching for the brass ring for the story for a long time I, well, you think, jumped on and you grabbed it yes i mean i think that this is the biggest story of our t of our time and everybody is trying to get a piece of it and everybody is trying to get get on top of it and as it happens you know, for at least for this week right. i'm the guy who stole the story right it is, I mean, it, the whole thing is, is amazing, and Trump is a phenom. I mean, it, I know that people make, make fun of the, I'm an unstable genius, but really to go from whatever you want to call him, whether you don't want to call him a billionaire, but billionaire developer, golf courses, to go to then reality TV, become the biggest star for 10 years, and then to become the president. I mean, something is happening here that's hard to put your finger on, I, Michael. It, it, it is, it's and amazing. as of this week, I'm the one who's put his finger on it. But next that's, week, some, somebody but that's, else. You put your finger on to the people that already believed what you're writing. I, I'm not sure. Other people are not convinced. Do you think you convinced anyone else? Of that, because there are the people yes, I talk. I, I like actually, red, red actually, state. there's a lot. Yeah, there's actually, a lot. Actually, absolutely. I think that this that this that this moves over to people who didn't kind of know what to think. But they're, then you've also little, hard, you've hardened some other people that are now. A little alarmed. You've getting you got to be getting tweets. You've hardened other people that are even more angry at this point that that are probably in his camp, right? Probably. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really here. I mean, but, partly because no, I, I'm, I, I don't know about that. Still uh, can't wait till the movie comes out. Are you going to have a movie? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, maybe. come on. Maybe. <laughs> um. Michael, thank you for someone, it's, someone just called me an unapologetic Trump turd. <laughs> so I'm getting, uh, they're, they're, I'm just watching the tweets come in, uh, Michael. So we're, uh, we're, we'll, be, we'll always be together on this in terms of, uh, I don't know, it's interesting. Thanks. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Michael. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.